Hey, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man, it's St. Rose Spence Jr. is back in training camp, according to Fight Hub. I seen him, you know, uh, a couple, like, a week ago, like, right after the fight, Monday, he was uh, back in the gym with his Crocs on, you know, hitting the pads and stuff of that nature. I just thought it was, you know, how you think it's just, you know, some shit for show. You know, fighters do that. They right back in the gym and they ain't doing nothing. I know Derek James told him that, you know, he need to keep his focus and get back in the gym. And all of a sudden, you know, you're like, man, you need to keep his focus Motherfucker, you should have said that like five fights ago and he was out here wilding and, and doing all the other crazy type of stuff. You should have been said that, but you know why, you know, they, you know, why he getting back in the gym and he trying back and training and all that because, like I said, there's a rumor. There's a rumor that they could be fighting sooner than later. Now, they, like I said yesterday, they said that uh, Errol Spence, you know, uh, or excuse me, Terrence Crawford could take a tune up, but I'm thinking like if he take a tune up, it had to really be, you know, and them and they, and they still gonna fight in September. That's tough. And if they fight in the day this September 20, um 24, you know what I'm saying? If, if that's the actual date, uh, or that's kind of right around the date, you know, Canelo Triple G September 17th. So I would think they will want to beat that, but you know, boxing, they just continue to do dumb stuff and they continue to stock power fights and make people, you know, choose, you know, to make people choose, you know, which you know event to go to. If they can't make both, but you know, like I said before, that is what it is. And could that be, you know, they, if anything, they should try to jump the week before before that. <laughs> if anything, you know, they should be trying to go the week before that. But you know, like I said before, who knows if Crawford take a tune up? Who knows? You know, what if he get cut? You know, what if he suffer injury? And if he take a tune up, could they really realistically make September? I don't think so. But Terrence Crawford been training that snack, you know. Ain't nobody made no narratives about Earl Spence, you know, getting back in training camp. You know, we ain't say, well, Earl Spence got to stay back in training camp to stay off the bottle. Ain't nobody said nothing like that. Nobody. But they the ones out here saying that, you know, you know, Bud, you know, he needs snack to beat Earl Spence. Well, Bud been snack. Sean Porter been snack. You know what I'm saying? They been doing snack. We talked about that last night. But, hey, check out the, you know. Welterweight playlist, more videos like this, and the box news playlist, and the box rumor playlist, more videos like this. So, you know, that's just my thing about it, man. It's always some type of narrative when it's, you know, involving Terrence Crawford, when it's involving Earl Spence. You know, why do you ever say, well, Earl Spence need to get back in the gym because he need to stop crashing cars and being drunk? Ain't nobody said shit like that. And we easily could say that. We just want to see the fight. And, you know, most Terrence Crawford fans have been consistent about just wanting to get in there. And see the fight. That's it. Earl Spence fans, the ones that even the ones that claim to be, oh, we about the boxing and not about the fighter. Them niggas be about the fighter. You know what he do, what he doing, bro? With the, to these dudes, man. He doing some Jim Jones type of stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know, like I said before, you know he back in camp and Derek said you got to be focused and all that. You know why they got to be focused. You know, and one thing I hate is when your words don't match your action. Y'all diminishing Crawford, talking about, oh, I question his knockouts. And, you know, if you if that's part of selling the fight, cool. I apologize. But this nigga getting back in the gym, he knows the serious threat. Derrick James was the one that said, you know, at one point Earl Spence wasn't ready. <laughs> you know, and now they got to be right back, you know, uh, training and stuff. For what? If Terrence Crawford is not a threat and people saying this is about Crawford not that good, he overrated and – he can't do this, that, and the third. But then if he win, they're going to be all on his nuts. That's what they're going to say. All, all this boxing, bro, it's, it's an opinion. That's one of the bad things about, about boxing. It's an opinionated sport. That's one of the bad things about boxing. It's an opinionated sport. Even when you win, you know, oh man, you know, you know, people say, well, you know, you, you know, Fury pushed Dillian White. It really wasn't an uppercut. It didn't really land. Plus, it should be a re it's always somebody out here that's gonna believe that. Fondura gloves, you know, you know, it's always gonna be something to 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 discredit somebody, and that's fine, and that's the sport of boxing. But you know why his ass back in the gym because it's about to get real. And the thing about it is habits are repetitious. You just can't pick up, you can't just be inconsistent with your habits. You know, from, you know, and this exception to the rules, but most fighters that want to last in this sport. If you want to fight as long as Bernard Hopkins and Floyd Mayweather and, and be successful at it for the most part, 
you got to stay in camp. We talked about the video with Blu-ray. Well, you know, you know, Fred called Blu-ray last night and he said that, you know, Earl Spence was coming in camp 20, 30 pounds and they had to focus on cutting the weight and not focus on building endurance and building strength and building skill. Who fault is that? You know, discipline. And that's one of the things about Floyd Mayweather that he don't get credit for. He's a disciplined fighter, more the probably the most disciplined fighter ever. He's a worker. You know, and if they're going to go right into this fight in September, cool. Only thing I don't like about it is September 24th is right around, is the, the week after Triple G in Canelo 3. Now people going to say, well, don't nobody care about that fight. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Fine. You know, that, 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 that might be true. But, you know, you know, that kind of can overshadow the Crawford fight. You know, that, or, you know, it could, you know, I don't know what it can do. You know, for people talking about it, it's going, you know, it's going to make some money. It's going to make some money. Shout out to the Black Picasso. You know, it's going to make some money. And now he on steroids. Well, well Sean was on, uh, you know, Sean, you know, was with Snack. I mean, Jerron Ennis, they say, was Snack. You feel what I'm saying? So Devin Haney was snack. Why you ain't say none of that? That that that's trio shit to be about snack and Victor Conti, you know. And Bud up there in camp working. He out there working out there in Oakland, and, and, and I don't know what you know what the the purpose is, you know, because obviously what he been doing been working. But you know, sometimes you know, I remember Timothy Bradley said that you know. That he went the extra mile during the first Pacquiao fight, and he started doing shit that he wasn't accustomed to doing. That's how he hurt his feet. He heard that Mike Tyson didn't wear socks in his championship fights, some of his fights. So he didn't wear no fight, no socks, and that's why he hurt his feet. You know, sometimes you just got to keep doing what you're doing. But, you know, like I said before, this could be a test run and see how it works. Triple G got kicked out of that same program. You know, but now it's a narrative. But he's been sponsored by Snack, at least with the Sean Porter fight. You know, he ain't can't he working up there with Victor Conti and seeing what it's about, you know. So I don't know, I don't understand, I'm not sure what the end all be all would be. You know, I don't. You know, as far as going up there, you know, you're gonna train up there for your camps now, you're gonna adopt what they're doing, you're gonna bring your strength and conditioning coach. I don't understand what it really is. You know, were you invited to, to check out the facilities? And then are you invited to stay at the facilities because Triple G got kicked out of them same facilities? You know? You know, so I'm, I'm not sure. I believe that uh I believe that uh you know, I believe that uh there's gotta be a reason behind it. There got to be a reason behind it. You know, it got to be a reason behind it. And so, mm -hmm. can you bring your strength and conditioning coach with you? <laughs> you know, is he willing to relocate to, 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 to snack? Come on. Here we go right here. He said, regardless of when the matter fight takes place, Golovkin will prepare for it with a different camp. One month after joining Victor Conti physical conditioning program at his snack facilities in San Carlos, California, the two sides have decided to part ways. Quote, we did our best to help Gennady, but he was simply not able to do what we asked him to do, Conti told ESPN on Tuesday afternoon. In short, I asked him to leave our facility because he did not comply with what we had agreed upon before camp started. However, I do wish him Look in the future. So, you know, and look what the how you know this is before Dan Rafe. Well, this Stevie Kim. Look how he 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 labels this. Now, if this was Terrence Crawford, it'd be Terrence Crawford kicked out of snack. I'm you gotta just watch for the BS, man. Overall. That's why you don't really believe what the media be talking about. Right? So, I mean, like I said before, who knows? Maybe he's looking to do something different, but sometimes when you look to do something different. You, you know, you know, sometimes you look to do something different. 
you know, it might mess you up, but hey, he could just be trying it out. Maybe he tried it out for a tune-up. Maybe seeing, you know, if he like it or not. You know, because Sean Porter been in great condi great condition, but, you know, I don't know if Sean trained him. I know Larry Wade uh, trained uh, Sean for strength and conditioning, so who knows? But like I said, it ain't nothing been, been, but been uh, 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 hesitation and fear from Spence. And I'm not just talking about the, aero spent, the aerosexuals, the fan of I'm talking about the real Aero Spence fans who ain't nut riders, too. It's been nothing but hesitation. What my man say uh, from uh, from uh, Mob Deep hesitation leads to incarceration. <laughs> Come on. It ain't been nothing but hesitation. And I'm glad I can talk like this. I don't need no media credentials neither. I can say what I want to say. You want to whoop my ass, so be it. Won't be the first, won't be the last time. You know, and if you just so happen to get, you know, you get, you know, your spirit leave your body, hey, you, you know, you ask for it. That can happen too. <laughs> you know, we can take it however you want to take it. <laughs> however you, however you, however you want to go there. I don't really care. But I can say what the hell I want to say. If you don't like it, guess what? Hit the unscribe button. Don't watch it. Say something when you see me. Holler when you see me. Come on, whatever you want to do. But shit, niggas just simply want this damn fight. That's it. You don't get these type of big black fights with, you know, two fighters that's close to their prime. People say they in their prime. And I don't even think that's subjective. They not. I mean, Crawford's 34 years old. You know, the bet, you know, Earl Spence, you know, he looked good versus Ugas, but that's going back to fighting C-level competition. You know, he been at the weight a long time. That's what we can say. He been at the weight at the long secure Stevenson with snack too. And no. You know, but they hate Secure Stevenson because he signed with uh they hate Secure Stevenson because he signed with uh because he signed with uh because Bob Barham. That's all that shit is. That's all it is. That's why I don't like Terrence Crawford. And he's just like, man, these have been really banking uh, a manager, management companies, advisement company, TV shows, and and promoters. Shit is funny to me, bro. And I was around for all of that when that all that happened. And Bob Barron was wrong, you know. But you know, he trying something else. So be it. So be it. But one thing we can say, you know, both them dudes in camp. That's what we can say. Both them dudes, you know, looking like they in the gym for a reason. The reasons that we hear. So that, that's what we can say. It, it looked like there's some re it's, it's some it's some method to their madness. You know, it looked like it's a method to their to their madness. So we might be closer. We think in November, December, it sounds like they might be thinking November. I mean, September. So they training. Cool. But hopefully they give us enough time. Hopefully they give us enough time to, to, to make accommodations. You know, and also, you know, talking about this fight too. They gonna try to freeze, you know, the black fight fan out of that fight. If they do that fight at a at a basketball arena or you know basketball size arena, or they do that fight, you know, at the MGM Grand Garden, best believe it's probably gonna be five hundred dollars for some nosebleed tickets. I'm trying to tell y'all, best believe it's probably gonna be five hundred dollars for some nosebleed tickets. That's probably exactly what it's going to be. That's exactly what it's going to be. You know, that's why people like, that's why people really pushing. That's why people really pushing for it to be. Um, 
That's why people really pushing for it to be at uh that's why people pushing for it to be in a football stadium. That way you have some reasonable prices. You know, a lot of people saying there's only one fight one place this fight can be. Anytime you go to Vegas, for one, it's been a lot of profiling against black people in Vegas. Especially I mean, even, even talking about the entertainers, them the ones that, you know, they the ones that uh that make Vegas go around. You're talking about what happened with DJ Mustard, Meek Mill. I think that, that both was at the Cosmopolitan. That's why I was trying to, you know, tell y'all. People say this only could be a Vegas fight. Well, I'm not sure Vegas want this fight. I'm not sure Vegas want to deal with all the black people that's going to be there. Just telling you that. And that's why if they do go to Vegas, they're going to mark them tickets high as hell. That's what they're going to do. They're going to mark them tickets high as hell. So you won't, you don't come. And that's probably one of the reasons they not doing it. They that's probably one of the reasons that they doing it in September. Because if you go in November, that's one of the cheapest times to go to Vegas. That's one of the cheapest times to go to Vegas. It is November. That's probably why they moved it up to September. So, you know, that's one thing about being the one of the positives about being in Dallas. There are gonna be some respectable ticket prices in there. When you, I mean, it's actually if you do it at Jerry World, that's one of the bad things about, you know, going, you know, to Vegas, that them tickets going to be marked high, up high as hell. Especially if it's at the MGM Grand Garden or, or that type of arena. So, you know, and, you know, they probably going to buy all the tickets and try to resell them. But it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance, get notifications. We go live, drop a video. And then you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Other than that, man, you can find me everywhere by hitting the link tree link that's in the description. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor. Also, cash app, Venmo, PayPal there. Appreciate the love and support. Thumbs up the video, share the video, comment, next subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. Check out the World to Wait playlist and the boxer. Uh, news, boxing news.